Today we talk average. Don't let anybody tell you you're just average. You should be happy. Is it good to be average or bad to be average? What does average mean? And when do we use averages? Averages. Averages, anybody. Cassandra. Averages. Where do you see averages and what are they good for? Um, There's no wrong answer unless it's not right. Somebody help Cassandra out there. Grace? It's not easy to define, by the way. When you have what? Well, now you're telling me how to find it. I want to know what average is. Lauren, where do you have averages? Your grades. Oh, your grades. But what does that mean? What does it mean if your grade, if your average grade is a ninety? What does that really mean? Anything? Oh, yes. Yeah. a very good case for no homework here. This is participation. Maya, what does a 90 percent average mean? Where does it come from? Anybody? Sittler? Would it not be what you typically get on whatever? Does that mean every grade you've ever gotten was a 90%? No, probably sometimes you get a hundred, maybe every once in a while you get an eighty. Okay, but it's typical or common or you could say kind of the middle grade that you get in, in a simple little way that you think that the average is not an easy thing to figure out. Okay. But I want you to think a little bit more into that. Sometimes we use average to make even Piles, because that's how the book throws some of the stuff out at you. For example, you can draw this down. If you have one, two, three, four, five books in this pile, one, two, three, four, five, six books in that pile. And one, two, three, four, five books in that pile. Wait, did that work? No. Let me do this. How many did I have in this pile? One, two, three, four, five. How many did I have in this pile? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many I got to put in this pile? Wait, I'm going to take one away. Only four. Can I take one away? Yes, I will. We want this to work out here. And I've only got four books in this pile. And I said make equal stacks. That is finding the average. And you do the average the same way you do your grade averages. How do you figure it out? You, what's the little formula? You add up all the numbers. And then what do you do with that? And then divide by how many numbers you added. So I had a book stack of five books, of six books, and four books. I add that together, I get 15. How many numbers did I add together here? Three of them by 15 by three. And in each stack, you would have five, which means you could just take one away from here and move it over here. And you end up with three stacks of five. Same thing. Same thing if there were 21 of you guys, right? 
there are 25, 21 of you kids. And I said, okay, get in three groups. Well, this first group over here, there was 11 kids in it. And then the second group here, seven kids group jumped into. And then the last one, there was only three kids. Is that 21? How many kids should be in each one, the average, to get an equal amount of groups? Well, you'd add all that together, which was 21. Divide by three, and you'd have to move some people over here. Actually, you could just take four away from this and stack it over there. You get three groups of seven, which doesn't sound that terribly difficult. I know you want one more question here. Sometimes they do cups. Let's do one of those. Let's say you've got three glasses. It's a nice glass, isn't it? Gorgeous. Splendid. And each of this glasses, this glass here has 12 ounces in it. This glass here has 3 ounces in it. And this glass here has 15 ounces in it. If you were going to move one to the other to get it to balance out and be equal, how much should each glass have? Well, 15 plus 12 plus 3. Does it work out? Oh, yeah. You end up with 30. Divide that by 3. Each glass should have 10 ounces. You get 10 ounces here. Add 7 ounces to that. Take 5 ounces to this. And 3 10 ounce glasses. Love it. Uh, the other thing with average is write this down. This is people get this off. Average is also what you get if the book asks you what is halfway between 70 and 80. Now, you can tell me that just because my logic says what is, what is halfway between 70 and 80, or 75. 75. But let's do it mathematically. You're just asking for the average. So you add 70 plus 80, you get 150. Divided by 2, you get 75. But what if I change the numbers and they weren't quite so easy? What if I said what's halfway between 2 and 1,078? What number is halfway between those? Well, it would just be the average of those two numbers. 1,078 plus 2 is... 1,080, divide 1,080 by 2, halfway between those numbers is 540. So if ever they ask you what's halfway between, what's halfway between 7 and 8? Well, add them together, you get 15. If you divide 15 by 2, what do you get? 7 and a half. Doesn't that sound exciting? Yes. Please say yes. Yes. Please say yes. Uh, take a look at page, the other famous 